Hello, Hers here. In today's video we will focus on the top 5 best ways of making silver in Albinal 9. I made a video about this topic some time ago, but I think this must be updated due to the new updates that visited Albinal 9. Today you will learn what should you do to earn the most silver possible in the game. Of course, there are contents in Albion Online such as ganking, where you can get hundreds of million silver by only killing one guy, but today we will focus on calculated money-making methods where you don't need to rely on luck. So no any contents with chests included, such as Avalonian Dungeons, Corrupted Dungeons or Hellgates. With that being said, let's get to the point. Number 5. Gathering Gathering is still a very good way of making silver. For some players it is a very pleasant content, I personally don't like gathering because for me it's just boring. How to start making money at gathering? Just pick one resource that you will focus on and start gathering it. You can use learning points to unlock the next tiers of resources that you will be able to gather. After some time, when your specs in gathering will be high enough, you will start making some real nice silver. Also, you can bring some journals with you to even boost the profit, but remember that the journals need to match the resource that you gather. After the Lance Awakened update, gathering can be a really nice way of spending time in Albion Online because you can just wear some build that's good for PvP and PvE, you can get some gathering tools with you, and you can just roam the open world for hours. Number 4. Black Market Black Market is still a very good way of making some nice profits. In the Black Market, the computer buys the items to place them in the chests, so this market is very fluent. I think it was a little bit more popular some time ago and now a lot of people stopped doing that, so there are probably a lot of items that you can make profit on. The main point in doing profit on Black Market is buying some items cheap in towns, then transporting those items to the Carleon Black Market and selling them for way, way more. You can even make profit without moving from Carleon by buying items in the market in Carleon and selling them one minute later in the Black Market. There are so many items that you can make profit on that you can literally do Black Market all day to just profit as much as you can. I made two videos about black market, so you can simply find them on my channel. With every day of doing black market stuff, you will be better and better. Number 3. Hardcore Expeditions Old Good HCE That's one of the most enjoyable and safe money-making methods. The silver income depends on the tier of the map that you're doing and on the skill of your party. Of course, you will earn more silver by doing some tier 18 HC map with skilled party because it will take you less time, so the silver earned per hour will be higher than by doing some level 10 map with party that don't really know how to do the map properly. I know that lately HC got a nerf, but trust me, it's still a good way of making silver and fame farming. Mobs got buffed, bosses got buffed significantly, and silver and fame income got nerfed, but a lot of people still say that this is really enjoyable and worth it. To start doing HC, you need to pick some role that you will play. As your first role, I would recommend you picking some DPS role like Light Crossbow, because the set won't be expensive, you don't need much swaps, and you will learn how to do every map properly. I wouldn't recommend you picking tank role, uh, heal roll or shadow coral roll because they can really require some knowledge about the game from the player. You can start doing HCE from some low tier maps and then switching to some higher tier maps. With time you will start making some really nice silver. Number 2. Refining. Refining can be a very good way of making even hundreds of millions monthly but you need to know how to do it properly. The main role here plays focus, because with focus you're able to make money on everything, where you can use it. By the way, don't use your focus on watering things on your farm, it's just wasting your focus. When it comes to refining, the first thing that you need to do to start earning silver is finding the right resource and tier of that resource that you will refine, because some resources will grant you more profit than others. 
Also, there can be a situation where some resource won't grant you any profit. So to simply avoid that, just calculate if it will make profit uh, for you. There are some websites on the internet where you can calculate your profit. This website is, for example, albinonline.com. To check the profit on refining, just go to the tools, refining profit calculator, uh, choose something that you want to refine, let's say, for example, fiber. Uh, and here is the whole calculator, just uh, you can pull the current prices, uh, write in your masteries and, and that's all, you will have your profits here. Also, if you want to become the ultimate master of refining, check out this channel. This man knows exactly how to drain the last drop of silver from refining. So don't forget to check out his channel. This man really knows what he's doing when it comes to refining. Number one, crafting. Let's be honest, there is no better money-making method and there probably won't be. The possibilities with crafting are just endless. Every item in Albion Online is crafted by players, so you can see what crafting means for Albion Online. The biggest crafters in Albion Online have so much silver that probably they are able to buy all the items that exist in Albion Online and they would still have tons of silver after all. The most important thing in crafting is focus. Without focus, crafting wouldn't really exist. But now there's a question, how to start crafting? It's pretty simple, just find some profitable items and calculate by your own if it will bring you profit uh, if you would craft it with focus. And you have to do it by your own because, let's be honest, nobody will tell you what is profitable to craft because it literally makes no sense for the people that craft this item. No one will tell you their secrets, but Let's go back to how to start crafting. When you got your items that you know are profitable, when you craft them with focus, just simply start leveling specs in those items by crafting them with focus. Or you can just do power level crafting, but you will have to spend a lot of silver to invest in it. Don't let your focus lay on your account without any purpose, because focus can be worth millions of silver if you only know how to use it properly. Also, don't forget about crafting bonuses that every city provides. You can check them here. The another important thing are salads, the potato salad and kraken salad. Potato salad and kraken salad boost your crafting speed and chance for crafting better quality items. And there are journals. Journals can boost your profit because full journals are worth more than empty journals. To make the journal full, just bring the journal with yourself while crafting, so he will fill up with the fame from the craft. Remember that journal must, must match the tier and place of the item that you're crafting to get filled up. That's all in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned some new interesting things. Consider subscribing to my channel to do not miss my new videos about money making. You can also let me know in the comments what do you think about this video. That's all from me today. See you in the next one. Bye.